Today I'm gonna to be testing out the Kiss Glue Off Instant False Nail Remover. It's basically a product that melts nail glue to make press-ons easier to remove without any damage done to the nail. You basically squeeze out the product along the cuticle, wait one minute for the glue to dissolve, and then use this chisel tip to gently lift the fake nails off of your natural ones. I really love press-ons, but I do have a tendency of just ripping them off, which really weakens my nails and leaves them looking terrible, so I'm really excited to try this. So first I have to actually apply my press-ons. I'm gonna be using these cute custom ones I got from Color Camp. And for glue, I'm gonna use my favorite Kiss Pink Nail Glue. This is really strong. Like I get a solid two weeks of wear out of my press-ons using this, so I think this is gonna be a really good glue to test with this remover. So my press-ons are finally on and now we have to take them off, which makes me sad because they look really, really cute. But let's see if the Kiss Glue Off actually does work. So the first step is to actually use the chisel tip under this area right here and kind of create like a little airspace so that the product in here can kind of penetrate through and melt down the glue. I feel like I'm overcomplicating it, but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> To create the air pocket is very difficult with this little nozzle in the way. It's not as easy as like a scoop it right up, especially with fresh glue. I imagine that this is one of those products that probably works best if your tip is already coming off, but I think I can make this work. I feel like the right side of my pointer finger has the air pocket in it. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. Thank you. Oh, it's definitely almost off. It's probably halfway off right now. It does say to repeat the process instead of just tearing the nail right off, which is totally something I would do just for time's sake. But let's repeat the process one more time and see if that works. All right, let's keep it going. I think that I, I figured it out. I will say I'm not the best at handling the chisel tip. I'm kind of all over the place. I think it's because the liquid obviously makes it a little more slippery and harder to control, but I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. So far, my nails are not looking too bad. I would say that they're in better condition than when I just rip my press-ons off and you just see my layers of broken nail, but they're not looking too bad. Just like they need a little buff and some excess glue removal, but not bad. After using the Kiss Glue Off Remover, I did have to remove the excess glue off my nails and buff them a bit, but they're honestly feeling pretty good. Just as a little comparison, I did try the acetone soak off method. The thing I hate about this method is how dry it not only makes my nails look and feel, but also how dry it leaves my skin feeling because you're literally leaving your fingers in a bowl of acetone. The Kiss Glue Off definitely felt like a more controlled remover process and definitely less drying. I did put this product through a pretty tough test by using it with fresh glue. They recommend waiting until you already have some lifting to use it, which is probably why it took me so long to create those air pockets, but I do think I like this. Controlling the tip took me a few tries, but once I got it, I thought it was really easy to use and effective. So if you love wearing press-ons like me, I definitely recommend checking this out.